all right welcome back to another episode of our guilds one playthrough in nightfall and we are we've just finished our uh isle of the dead that's what they called that quest so i kept that name i'm just referring to this as isle of the dead now um we finished that quest line brought us back to Kamadan. And our next primary special, our, our primary quest is called Special Delivery. And this is where we get to get one of two possible new heroes we get to choose. Uh, and hopefully we'll get to move on to the third mission. But as some people pointed out in the comments, that my level is kind of falling pretty far behind. Uh, the areas that I'm getting into. Also, I need to double check because um, my armor, I upgraded it once to 40, but that was also pointed out in the comments that maybe my armor has fallen behind too. So I don't know if I missed a, an armor dealer, but I'm going to check one of these. Maybe maybe I, uh, maybe I missed one back in Beckner Harbor or... Kodlonu Hamlet. The names in Elona are really difficult for me. Uh, but anyway, we have special delivery. Zaishin Elite. This is the skill I'm talking about. Or the quest I'm talking about. Uh, so we get to train one of my powerful promising alkalite, alkalites. And yeah, we did this already on our Mesmer. But we're, I'll do it again here because I'm going to choose the other hero. We will deploy our Zaishin around the areas. So, uh, yeah, in the end of the last episode, Cormier left us to go get some help. And we're kind of placed in charge. But in her stead, the Canton support team, General Hayao, brought his Zaishins to help, uh, to help secure Istan. So there's quite a good alliance between the two. The two... Uh, nations i guess very nice of them that's how i understood it i'm pretty sure that's what's going on uh okay so let's do let's do the zaishin mission to get another hero the other thing that was pointed out is um at this time players were only allowed whoa i can get costs now or mocks now I'm not gonna use them he is a Eye of the North unlockable hero. Why am I able to get Mox suddenly? Is it because I'm level past level 10? I thought you'd be level 20 to pick him up. That's pretty overpowered, right? If you're a level 10 character and then you get a level 20 Dervish here. Oh, also, thank you so much for um, submitting your names of pet. As of now, there were two names suggested. And it kind of worked out perfectly. I think I don't put a space there, right? Uh, it kind of worked out perfectly because both names were great. And I think I'm going to be able to use both of them. So one of them was name name the Flamingo Shu. And the other one was name him Freddy from a TV show called Tots, which I've never seen. So I'm just going to combine them. And he's going to be called Shu Freddy. I think it's going to be pretty good. So thank you for the <laughs> the choices. Uh, yeah, suddenly he has a lot more personality. Anyway, yeah, I can't do the bounties here because I'm too powerful for this area. Uh, let's go on to... Where is he at? Yeah, over here. We already did this once before on our Mesmer, but, um, I want to get Aqualite Jin this time. Even though I prefer Sosuke. But since we already got Sosuke earlier. We're going to get... Jin oh, they just straight up... Um, I, I, I always get caught off guard. They just immediately start fighting me. No chance, sir. You have no chance. There we go. We'll go and watch the camp. Watch this cutscene again. Acolyte Jin. What is it, Sosuke? What do you think of what? That Sunspear leader, of course. Nice moves. Has potential. That's it. That's enough. Something is going on here in Alona. I 
can feel it in my bones. This sun spear is going to be a big part of it. If you say so, I am just looking for someone to learn from. It is the Zaishen way. There's nothing about the Zaishen way that says we can't be enthusiastic about what we do. Okay. Field General Haiyao will allow the Sun Spear to train one of us. I hope I am chosen. I hope so, too. Thank you. Then I won't have to listen to you jabbering on. What did you just say? <laughs> so, the Zaishen, the Zaishen in Kanta, is that what our... If you make a character in factions, are you a member of the Zaishen? Or was that just the Xingjie Monastery students? It's, I, I believe the Shinje Monastery students are separate from Zaishin. Might be wrong. Because we definitely didn't have General Hayao teaching us in factions. Anyway, I'm going to go with Student Jin. She seems cool, cold, collected. Sosuke is a little bit immature in my opinion. Even though he is more powerful as an elementalist. You have chosen Jin as your people. It's time to show your student what is the fierce actions, not words. Jigo, you must defeat one of the Balthazar's Eternals. So let's go there. Uh, I guess I'll just go there from here. I don't know if it's faster to go there from here or not. Surely it is. I can find the exit. Is that a quest? That's the other thing as we have pointed out. I should probably be Oh, okay, I can I have scale thin so I can do this. Nice. Isn't that part of the quests? Where was it? Here? Yeah, so I got a bowl of scale fin scale fin that's another hard word to say. Scale fin soup. Scale fin soup. Okay. Uh, Drake kebab and panai salad. I think those are available in Kamadan. Oh, I'll hang on to it. What does this even do, though? Health regeneration bonus. So if I... If I use it, do I lose this... Do I lose this... Uh, Cross off. I wonder if I need to have all three in my inventory. It doesn't look like it, right? Because it's all. It doesn't say. It doesn't say bring a bowl of scale fin soup. But it does say. Yeah, he does say bring me these dishes. Anyway, I'm tempted to use it in this area, but I'm just gonna hang on to it. Uh, these iboga petals. Maybe I should. Yeah, I didn't get any Drake flesh. Anyway, let me salvage some of this stuff. More bones, that's good. And I'm gonna sell the rest of it. Let's go. That'll be fun to use a ranger. I haven't used any ranger heroes in either playthrough yet. Mesmer or Dervish. I'll get a better idea of that class. Way back in the day, ranger was actually my primary, my main, um, my main, uh, character and then I switched over to monk because I was playing with my friends and we didn't have many healers in the group so I switched over to monk that's another I have another idea for a playthrough after I finish this one in guild wars I don't know if I want to mention about what it is yet but I think it would be pretty fun it would involve playing as a monk um I might disclose my idea later on but Ooh, level 20s. Wow, this one's tough. We're only level we're only level 11 here. Luckily, we are extremely powerful. 
with the power of Shu ready. Oh, right now is Winter's Day in July. That's why I dropped some eggnog. That's so random. It's like eggnog in Alona in July. What is going on? Wow, he put up a fight. All right, so we got Acolyte Jin. Heck yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I honestly don't know if I'm going to follow that um, suggestion. Because originally, you could only use three heroes per player. And as this is a nostalgia run, recreating what it would be like to play Nightfall from the beginning, I should technically limit myself to only three heroes. I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to do that yet. Uh, but perhaps I should give that a try. As her trainer, I think it is best you knew something about your pupil. Jin is from a small town on the Kanta coast and is mainly self-taught. Her family was slain by monsters when she was a small girl. As an orphan, she focused her sorrow and rage on vengeance. Ah, that explains her personality. Even before coming to the Zaishen, she was an effective fighter. She is quiet and taciturn when off the battlefield, methodical and deadly when on. She never backs down from a fight. Good luck, hero. Go with blessing with the blessing of Balthazar. Cool. And with that, we hit level 12. Uh, mainly self-touch. Oh, that's exactly what he just said. Okay, I'm going to upgrade my... Uh, what should we get up? These are these are pretty high already. I guess mysticism would be best for energy management. Scythe and mysticism should be the highest, followed by earth, and then finally beast. And Koss and Dunkoro. So that that solves the mystery. They they definitely receive experience through quest because they both leveled up with me there. The mystery is solved. Let's give you some more tactics and strength. Let's give you more uh, smiting and divine favor. Good, good, good. All right, I'm going to remove Meloni now and we're going to try out Jin. Pick up a pet for her too. That would be fun. Make her a proper beast master. Acolyte Jin, you're on deck. What does she come with? Let's see what her skills come with. She's got power shots. That's classic. Distracting shot. Almost in almost like distracting shot is almost what's the word I'm looking? Mandatory for any ranger build. I rarely see any rangers that do not bring distracting shot. It's such a good skill. Uh, Kindle arrows, that's okay. And lightning reflexes, that's okay too. Little bit of survivability gives you a little bit of a uh, damage boost with that attack speed. Let's give her. Let me think about her. Let me think about her ability right now. Okay, I'm going to give her a really weird build, and I don't even know if AI can handle it, but I'm going to make her a trapper. That's, uh, her, her whole purpose is to put as many conditions as possible with a little interrupt. So she's got poison, she's got bleeding, cripple, she's got knockdown, and she's got, knockdown's not really a condition, I know, and she's got burning. So how many is that? One, two, three, four conditions on that and i think it might help against some of the melee attackers that rush in after dunkoro uh <laughs> i don't know if it'll be good she honestly needs more expertise if this is gonna go well because these are pretty mm. yeah she needs more energy and she needs more expertise honestly so let's do something like that I don't really care about her attacks much because her attacks are pretty much just to put poison on. She's a condition spammer. That's what she is. She's only level 11, so she will get more powerful as she goes. 
Um, yeah, let's go. Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and check now. Um, let's check for the armor upgrade that I missed. So I'm going to go to the farthest area that I know of, which is here. There's no armor merchant, so let's try Beckner Harbor. There's no armor merchant here, then I, I have already the upgraded armor. Yeah. There's nowhere to upgrade my armor yet. Unless it's here. Let me check Joker and her dig diggings again. I think this is where... No? Here we go. Yeah, I think I upgraded my armor here already. I... Mistaken? Yeah, I already have upgraded armor. Okay, good. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's go to Sunspear Great Hall and continue on with our primary quest. I'm going to keep going with the primary quest until it just becomes too difficult. Uh, and where I have to do some side quests. So we got special delivery. Jarek A, interesting choice. Yeah, deliver the orders to Jarek. Good. What was the other? What is this? The names of three young people in Zelon Reach. Oh, it's recruiting Sun Spears. Okay, we'll pick that up. Not going to do that yet. Let's go ahead and continue with special delivery. So we need to go speak to Field General Hayao. Take these orders to Jarek. You might want to do that. Okay. Let's go from Kodlonu Hamlet. Well, I guess as of now, I will just use the three heroes and apply that um, limitation to myself. Even though we do have Mox and Maloney, so we could go six of eight, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make it a little more interesting. I'm going to bring um, Domination, Earth, Monk. And motivation that looks pretty good I think those four level 15s actually are gonna be better than bringing any heroes I'm really curious about Jin and her trapping abilities I don't know if this is gonna work at all but I do have a backline now with with domination earth motivation and dunk Koro and even Jin they're kind of I have, I've got a pretty big back line, so there is some potential that she would do pretty well. Scale hunt. So another thing, if I'm not going to be doing a lot of side quests, one thing I can do to make up for the experience is to just to make sure I get all the bounties and fight as many of these bounties that I have. Hunt down as many of these enemies. Freddy the Flamingo. Ooh. Yeah, I think it worked out nicely. I'm going to put up his tab too. It'll be covered up by my little avatar guy though. Oh, okay. We made a good choice. So for this mission, you definitely, special delivery, you want to come out of Code Lonu. Not even a single enemy. What do we get here? Uh, oh, he's testing us. I was like, why? Why are you fighting us? Like, dude, it's eight on one. <laughs> what are you going to do? There is more to protecting Alona than steals and spells. You've heard the sailing that saying that an army marches on his stomach. Well, without me, you'd all start stop marching. So he's a chef. Okay. So Kamir has ordered me out of retirement to become spear marshal. I'm surprised given our past, but it's about time. While she's been dabbling about the ruins of the old city, the Corsairs have gained unprecedented strength. Well, we shall set the Sun Spears back on the right track. So she, he wants to totally replace Cormier. Interesting. So he's not her. He's not. He he doesn't really see eye to eye with Cormier, I guess. Interesting. 
All right, now we now we just go to Poopa. Okay, that was a very, <laughs> a very uh, anticlimactic. I was hoping to do some battles and see Jin do some uh, trapping. What do you think about this trapper build? I think it looks like fun. If I were a player character, I might run that just for fun. One thing I like to use with the trapper build is the throw dirt to put some blindness on. But I don't have that skill apparently, so I didn't put it on there. I can't say everyone will be glad when they have Jericho. Yeah, they don't really like. They were, We were friends before that mess when the Cormier became super emotional. So he's jealous of Cormier, I guess. He likes to pull rank, tends to lead through intimidation and pre petty rules rather than action. Yeah, he's got an inflated ego. For sure. And now we get Takora, another hero. Eric will most likely assign you some menial tasks until Cormier returns. Be careful though. Da, 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 da. Go report for duty. Here we go. Big news, small package. Report to Jarek. We gotta go back. Oh, he's out here now. Telling you the truth, I've been following General Kayet around. She's up to no good. She was meeting with War Marshal, War Marshal Varish, and then she went to Matani Keys and consorted with a bunch of grimy corsairs. There's more to protecting. Oh, same stuff. See this little Vabian girl here? She's been making some wide -eyed, wild eyed accusations about the good War Marshal's favorite general. We can't have rumors like that spreading, so it's your job to indulge her. Meet her in Matani Keys and keep her busy and quiet. So he's, he's really corrupt. He's like trying to quiet people down and hush, hush people. You know what I saw? I found their meeting place with the Corsairs and the Keys. You have some barking dog yapping about the general. I know you'll believe me when I show you. Meet me in Mitani Keys. Where's she going? What happens if we follow her? Haha. <laughs> It's interesting. I'm just gonna see where she's going. That guy looks like he might lead to a quest. I'm tempted to follow him now too. Is she gonna run all the way there? Wait up, Talcora. What if she leads you straight to like a hidden chest or something? That'd be cool. They're only level four, so I won't really get any experience from them anyway. Where is she taking us? Uh, taking us straight to Champion's Dawn. That makes sense. And she'll probably just disappear. And just like that, she is gone. All right, a little bit anticlimactic. That's what happens if you follow Talcora when she runs away. Uh, let's go to Makani Keys. All right, now we get to take a look at this team build. Do some real battles. That trapper speed is pretty... It's If you're going to run a lot of traps, that's a really useful stance. Traps recharge 25% faster and activate 25 The activation speed is really what it is. Uh, what makes it good is because you get that reduced, um, the reduced time. And I think... Uh, yeah, yeah. The expertise. You also want expertise as well because it decreases the energy cost and recharge times so if you have a high expertise you could almost just go full traps no marksman just go expertise in wilderness i might do that yeah she's just gonna go full she's going full trap expertise in wilderness survival that's it and since she's doing conditions the damage that she does doesn't really matter I 
I swear they were here. Where did they go? Now you won't believe me either. Here's a good mission. Oh, this is the one we failed last time. Let's try that again. All right, so where are we going? We'll travel to Matani Keys and investigate Talcora's allegations. We need to go down there. And what about this guy? Oh, this was chasing down the Corsair again. We'll try it. We'll try that one again. We failed last time because of the undead is really what happened. So now that the undead are defeated, should have a better chance. All right, let's see. Let's see Jin in action. She's just shooting in place. She's putting down traps in place. <laughs> All right. I don't know about that build. The, the problem with the build is I don't think I don't think the AI will know how to use it really. But she's using her abilities. That's good. You know what I can do is I can just command her. She's my third hero. Let's just do it like this. Let's just do a little cheeky. We'll do it like that. The traps last 90 seconds, so they last quite a long time. I don't know if they stack, though. Do they stack? So at about, she needs about 8 energy to use that 10 energy skill. Alright, so we're going to aggro with her. And draw her back. Oh, the henchmen immediately go to her aid. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. I don't know. They're not moving now. <laughs> oh well. I wish you could see a visualization of the trap. But there might be some uses use later on with that kind of tactic. Like here. Let's try that again. Like I get or I get ambushed here, so she should use it naturally. Let's wait till her energy gets up. Generally though, I thought I always thought traps were such a cool feature of the ranger. But in PvE, they just the, the battles just kind of See, like she should have put I should have put them there. They're going straight after my NPCs. So I think to make her useful, it's just gonna take a little bit more micromanaging on my part. Before we're 0 and 2 as far as usefulness of the trapper henchman. I think I have one more Istani key now. Did I use all of them? Yeah. Cryptic scroll piece? What is this? Oh, this is part of her quest. Yeah. Okay, we completed that, but I want to do this one. Man, they really hate my NPCs. My Flamingo, Freddy, Shoe Freddy, the Flamingo. Hit level eight, let's go. It's good to do these quests together because we have one, two, three, four, plus Takora. We have a straight up we have an army of people. Look at all our, our huge team. Is it possible to catch up to this Corsair? Like, he's he starts running away way too early. 
you would need some really fast running skills to catch up to him. And then you would need to cripple him or <clears throat> put some water magic on him or something. All right, let's try this. Oh, wait. If she gets attacked, she's easily interrupted, though. All right, we failed that. I thought... I thought trappers... Isn't there a... Isn't there a... Prepar... Uh, there's a preparation, I think. That I missed. What was that called? Trappers... Gavager's focus? Is that it? No. I didn't realize I have these two elites e either. I'm pretty sure there's a there's a skill. Oh, I did have throw dirt. Gosh darn it! I'm pretty sure there's a uh, a preparation that makes your traps not easily interruptible. Actually, Okay, we got our first rune, finally. Spear Mastery 1, not bad. Got a shield upgrade for Koss. Looking good, Koss. Oh, lost my pet. Oh, we double aggroed. No, Ralon, save him! Oh, we failed again. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, jeez. Well, let me talk to this guy real quick to get the bounty at least. Man, this is a hard one. It's hard to keep... It's hard to keep Rallon alive. We'll do it eventually. That's a good 1500 XP. All right, anyway, let's go finish this quest. So we need to see Jarek for the reward. I'm sure this is not going to go as we hope. He's probably going to gaslight us pretty hard here. He seems like the kind of guy to do that. Quite the heroic bunch defeating a scroll and you cut it up into tiny pieces. I'm sorry, but a cryptid scroll and a pile of... So he just doesn't... That, there you go. Is not enough evidence. She claims she can decipher the message. Fine, you pursue this. I'll spare no more sun superior resources on it. Okay, at least he's letting us investigate. Tell her she's an honorary sun superior. Maybe that'll keep her quiet. Cora has been spoiled and pampered all her life, and she is sick of it. She dreams of becoming an adventurer, a hero of the people like a like Estani folk tale she read as a child. Though her intentions are good, uh, her lack of a real world experience often gets in the way of her heroic acts. There's that song that just popped in my head. My intentions are good. Oh lord, please don't let me be misunderstood. You guys know that song? Alright. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why that song, that line that he said just popped, that song just popped in my head. <laughs> okay. Random. What are we doing now? Uh, we are exploring the cliffs of Dojok with Talcora. So I have to bring Talcora now. Let's get rid of Dunkoro. And replace him with Talcora. He's a protection monk. So we can put some good protection spells on her. Something like She's already got really good ones. She's got the she's got reversal of fortune. She's got shield of absorption, which is really good. Let's put shielding hands on her. 
classic. And da, 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 da. perhaps ages. That's a good one. Long recharge time now, 30 second recharge time. But all of the other ones are such such short research, blah, blah, such short recharge times that having one long one is not a big deal. So she's going to be spamming these anyway. Um, yeah, I think this is a good build, but not so much healing. I'm a little worried because it's all protection, not enough healing, but let's try it out. We are in a level, a lower level area now, and I'm going to give Acolyte Jin another chance. <laughs> Her build seems a little useless. Maybe now that we are for a party of four, her her traps will have a little more a little more use. That means the captains are wandering around aimlessly looking for each other. We can find them, we can steal their map fragments. So here's the first one. The problem with the Corsair is they're all ranged. And Jin's Traps require, um, oh no, the thugs are melee. Okay, there's, there's a couple melee here. I'm just gonna beeline it straight for us. Yeah, nice. I moved, I moved Taukora into the traps there. So he figured those. I'm gonna have to rely a lot on my self healing here. Honestly, I'm not so sure if I can stay alive. As long as I can use my abilities. Ice self healing there was clutch. That was this is gonna be tough. Looks like the scroll pieces from form some sort of map. I can make out a swamp or is that a bog? So already like you're seeing the benefit of having heroes versus henchmen. I can micromanage them a little bit more. This game becomes more of a strategy RPG now once you get heroes. It's like, yeah, you play through all of prophecies, you play through all of factions, and then you feel like you've experienced all there is of the game as far as gameplay goes, and then Nightfall just completely changes everything. Awesome. It's like almost the genre of the game changes. Excellent, excellent. Falling in love with Guild Wars 1 all over again. These healing skills really came in clutch. The uh, Vital Boon, Twin Moon Sweep, and uh, this Intimidating Aura giving me a lot of bonus health. Like here, she's just going to be putting down traps. Again, these are ranged enemies. They're not going to come over to you. But at least she has... At least she has apply poison and distracting shot. Like, bare minimum, right? Oh, I should have talked to him first. Alright, I want to remove... I want to remove this patrolling enemies. I just don't want to take any risks of over aggroing here. The boss, though, this could be tough. This boss drops a um, a green item, though. Hopefully, we can get it for Takora or Dunkoro.
I'm not really seeing any poison on their health. I'm not sure what she's doing. I think she uses all of her, all of her mat, all of her energy for her traps, and then doesn't really attack. Pretty bad. There's her traps expiring over there. You see that? All right. This one should have worked because these are a lot of melee. It's the dark blade. He's scary. Jeez, they just melt me, man. There we go. I need to I need to I need to spam Vital Boon and Quinn Moon Sweep here to stay alive. Yeah, if I spam these two, should be good. Oh, Talcora fell. Nice. Another rune. They got the elementalist. Flamingo. Freddy. No. Okay. Oh, that was tough. Let's see if we got a decent rune from that. Inspiration. Whoa. Actually, that's... That's really good. I think that's a pretty valuable one. I think that's really valuable one. I need to check the rune merchant. Too bad I can't give it to my Mesmer because of my Mesmer's limitations, but I can sell it or I can put it on my heroes for my dervish. Now, Korra died, I died, but Koss and Jin, they are pretty, they're going well. They got a six morale boost here. I do like the Dervish. Dervish has a lot of self-healing. Like just spamming Vital Boon and Twin Moon Sweep. That's a lot of self-healing. I'm pretty... Let's, let's attack these guys. We are Sunspear Captain now. Oh, that's weird. It, you, even though I didn't land the attack... I used the uh, the adrenaline. The adrenaline got spent there. So you can spend your adrenaline without actually landing the attack. I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm probably not going to keep this skill bar. But it was fun trying it out. I think it'll be more beneficial putting her as a beast master or something. What we got here. We got bugs. Oh, we got some harpies. We can fight those guys. Always want to try and get the bounties. You get double experience from them. The harpies are so creepy when they're walking around like that. I don't know why they made the... It would have been better if they just made the character animation always flying, I think. When they're walking on two feet, it just looks so creepy. Is it just me? Maybe it's just me. I'm gonna I'm just gonna put her directly in the action here. Oh that was Talcora, darn it. You can double click the flag to cancel the order that you put him on. 
Oh, that didn't work. All right, last group. Uh, this is going to be tough because there's some plants going in and out. I need to take out these plants first. Hopefully, I can do it without costs. Alerting all of them. Wow, they're going the opposite way now. 100% if I try and fight those Corsair without taking out the plants. Um, I'm going to be in trouble. All oh, the Corsairs really come far out here. Uh, let's just try it. Let's try and pull them back though. Yeah, we can we can melt one of these guys down. I want to put Jin right in the action. With only four henchmen or four a team of four, if you have one person not pulling their weight, really is noticeable. But I think I think we got him off. He's not standing as close as I wanted her to to use those traps, but we managed to do that one. That was actually the easiest one because they grouped up. It, every enemy dropped. I wonder is that is that like a guaranteed drop? We got three runes from this, huh? I wonder is this repeatable? I wonder if they did this on purpose so that you would have runes to give to your teammates. That's really interesting. Could give that to Jin. That one. Oh, we're in battle. That seems like that's that's too much of a coincidence too much to be a coincidence i think having three bosses or three of these guys each one dropping a rune every time what do you say that's that's too much of a coincidence we didn't get any bug on spear bounty let's talk to let's talk to this guy over here i think he's got it be nice to hit level 13 after this but i don't think we will i have to fight these guys darn it Oof! <laughs> just a just a complete explosion of damage this is awesome he's gonna bleed out zero xp for that it's fine all right i'm gonna go down here and we have two more pieces to get Koss and Jin though both plus eight morale boost I think Koss is honestly the uh he's carrying us in this one I think I think I'm doing decent damage but I'm I'm mostly just trying to survive Here's the classic crude shield. I love the look of this shield. So classic. Look at that. That is like the Guild Wars shield. I need 4.7k. And this ability, this quest gives me a thousand. It might be worth running around here and completing bounties since I already got all the bounties up. I'm definitely going to be fighting everyone now at this point. But I don't think these 
level twos give me anything actually let's see now that i have the bounty zero xp just the grub lance should give me something Sixteen. Whoa. <laughs> I was expecting at least like 30. These guys are... This is another boss that drops a green item, actually. It would be awesome to get a low-level green item as we're going through here. Dignant of the Mystic Wrath. What is that? Target takes damage for each enchantment on you. This will be good for the traps. If she can get her traps off. They are chasing our Talcora down. I'm going to keep an eye on her for using her traps. Oh, that did. Yeah, she put a trap down. Nice. Let's send Talcora over there next to the traps. Let's all go over here actually. Oh, I guess she didn't get it off. need to spam my twin moon sweep and we go tough there we go I noticed Jin got a level up there. Don't quite do enough damage, do we? I need to make sure I keep sand shards up too then. There we go. Nice. And we got a bow for Jin. Let's go. What is it? Health below 50. Enchantments last 15% longer. Okay, it's useless for her, but it is a damage upgrade. Slight. And actually, the way we're going right now, that plus 18% damage is probably going to get activated because we're barely surviving these battles. Enchantments last 15% longer. Yeah, she doesn't use any enchantments. Honestly, I didn't know bows have that enchantment that enchantment buff that's the first time i've seen that i think all right let's try and do this well use all your traps And this time I'm going to aggro them to the traps. Nope. Jin's going to aggro them. Nice. See, if all the traps go off, he just got they just got totally melted. Traps are very strong. problem with them is that they just slow down the pace of the game in pve like generally you just look we he's he's all by himself now like you just want to a lot of times people get used to just running through the areas oh here's the last mission area too and so traps can really slow down the pace but like you cannot deny that that was just so much easier once they triggered those traps See, if he drops a rune... No, okay. So that was just coincidence, those runes dropping. It's so interesting. It was like three for three or whatever. All right, last one coming up. Get the last piece of the cryptic scroll from Captain Mind... 
Min Mindebe. I thought it was like some mesmer name or something. Mindebe on the cliffs of Dojoke. Let's try that. Oh, he's by himself. Oh, and there's another quest up here, I remember. We might be able to get level 13 here. Being a Corsair isn't all about fighting. For me, it's about the code. To be honest, I hate fighting. It's just not my nature to stab someone. I'd rather use my wit. It's much sharper. You seem to have five parts, and I have the sixth. I don't suppose the other captains gave those to you willingly, eh? Hmm, well, I might be a little more accommodating. Let's say we strike a bargain. I give you the sixth piece, and in return, you don't kill me. The bargain is quite a surprise. It's quite simple. My right-hand mate, Savage Num Numb, will give you the last piece of the cryptic mac. And you let this cowardly Corsair live to see another day. Are you ready to make the trade? We are ready. Oh, no. It didn't tell me it was going to make me travel. Oh, whatever. Ah, oh, Lissa, protect me. What's the matter? It's all muddy. Do you want to turn back? No, no. I'm sure that I can manage. Try it in this way. What are Cornin troops doing here? Keep an eye out. The general does not want to be disturbed. Kill any trespassers on sight. she came this way congratulations can come later at the moment we have a real problem and with that we have arrived at the last mission area of istan uh i'm gonna try and do it in our next episode so it looks like this is not going to be the last episode of the dervish run through of istan um yeah hopefully next episode We'll be able to do it we're only level 12 but i think with henchmen henchmen are all also level 12 so we are caught up interesting it's interesting there weren't they like level 15 here so this is actually a lower level area that's that's kind of weird isn't it anyway we can get an armor upgrade too should give us like 50 armor 55 armor I'm going to upgrade my armor here for next at uh in next episode. Very cool. We're almost there, guys. Um yeah, as always, stay tuned if you are missing Rozier. I am also missing him, my Mesmer. Uh we're going to do this next mission and then wrap up anything we need to do in Istan the next episode. And then next next episode for real this time, I think will be uh We'll be we'll be jumping back onto our mesmer to to continue the storyline in Alona. But yeah, like and subscribe. Blah blah blah. See you later. Bye.